Hello everybody, welcome to the Red Men TV. My name is Ben Kelly. We've got a special edition of the Development Watch here today because we've got under 23s manager Neil Critchley sat down with us. Thank you very okay. much for joining okay. us. Um, we just want to start really by sort of asking you about obviously Liverpool new sign today, Tony Gallagher. Um, <laughs> Left back guys coming from, um, from Scotland. Yet. Well, he's he's on his way, isn't he? He's he's he's, he's on his way. So we're just wondering. Obviously, we, we've read reports that he's had trials here over the last week. Um, what we're just wondering what sort of things caught your eye. Obviously, he's going to be coming to your squad and playing under you. Um, so, what what's impressed you about him really? Um, that's not for me to comment on because at not the moment he's uh, he's not he's, he's not our player. He's, he's Falkirk's player. So unfortunately, until that uh, signing gets. If it gets, you know, the uh, put on the old dotted line, then then I'm more than happy to speak about him. But at the moment, that's right. That's fair not enough. for me to that's talk fair. about. Okay. Well, one of one of the one of the other questions that I have then is about Ben Woodburn because obviously yeah. it's sort of been confirmed over the last week that he won't be moving on loan in this window. He's played under you and he's played under Gerard for the under 19 yeah, over yeah. the course of the season. What I want to know is really if. If he's not going to be playing, if he's not going to be going out on loan this season, obviously he's had less opportunities in our first team this season. What what do you think that he needs to do? He's a, he's a player of immense quality. He, mm. He's head and shoulders above other players when he plays at your level and at Stevie's level. What do you think he needs to be doing to catch the eye of, of Jürgen again and, and perhaps get himself a few more first team opportunities this season? Um, well, you know, he gets a chance every day when he trains. Um, I'm not there to see that, but... Um how he trains every day, so um, his body language, um, how he is within the sessions will be really important because I know the manager and his assistants take um, you know, uh, f fine attention to detail. They'll be looking at him all the time. Um, but Ben, when he's played for us this season, I think has acquitted himself really well. I think you can see the benefit of him training in that environment on a daily basis. Um, and he's a young boy, so he needs to be... He needs to be patient, but impatient. Um, not expect too much of himself too soon, but also want to improve, get better, which I'm sure he will, because I know the type of boy he is. Uh, but there's there's no rush for him at the moment. You know, he's for an 18 year old boy just to be in that environment all the time is a great benefit to him, and I think we've seen that this season when he has played for us. Okay. Um, obviously, you are a point clear at the top of Premier League two with the, with the game in hand. You know things yeah. are going well this season, but you are starting to lose a few players in this yeah, window. Yeah, yeah. Corey Whelan's gone out on loan. Obviously, mm. your captain um, Matty Virtue as well. Mm. Um, are you at all you know a little bit worried about perhaps you know the progress this season perhaps halting a little bit because obviously Danny Ings as well is being called up often for the for the first team. No, honestly, no, no. Um, you know the the. We always do what we think is the best thing for the players um, and uh, Matty and Corey were ready to go and play senior football, go and play in a men's environment. If we think that's the best thing for them, um, then we'll, we, won't, we won't stand in their way. Um, so it might mean that now some of the younger players step up from the under-18s mm. um, who will be you know, itching to play and prove themselves in the 23, so uh, they'll be given an opportunity. Uh, and I think it's an exciting second half of the season. So, no, if, if the results suffer a little bit and um, we don't win the league, it, it, we, we want to be successful, we want to win, but the most important thing is always the development of the players. So, if we lose the league but some of the players have had an opportunity they might not have had if we kept all the players here, then, um, then so be it. Mm. Uh, and what about players who are currently still here, Harry Wilson, um, yeah. there's been talk that he might be going out on loan, is there any update that you can give us on No, that? there's no update yet on Harry, um, I think obviously in the next week or so, what happens at first team level might have a bearing on um, Harry's situation, so uh, you know, there's obviously been some well publicised um, talk around certain players at the first team squad, whether they might go out on loan or permanent, and that could have a, maybe a, an influence on on Harry and Ovie would come into that category as well, but um, so the next week we'll we'll, sh we we'll find out. Yeah, yeah, busy week. And finally, we just ask you if do you have an injury update on Rian Brewster. Obviously, it's gone quite quiet over the last few days. Last we heard, he was in London. No, for tests and yeah, stuff. Rian's been at home resting. Um, he's seen a, a specialist again today, which he'll decide whether he's he's having surgery or not having surgery. So right. I should know by the end of play today or the next 24 hours what, what, he's, um, what his plan is going to be whatever 
whether he had surgery or not surgery, it is you know we're talking months rather than weeks. So right, okay. He's going to be out for a significant period of time. Yeah. And and what what do you think? How do you think that will affect him in terms of his attitude? Do you think he'll bounce straight back? Do you think he's that? Yeah, type he, of he was obviously disappointed and down when it happened. Um, you know, it's never nice seeing a, a young boy stretched off the pitch, mm. especially one that you know he loves his football. He loves being out on the grass every day. He loves being in and around the boys. He's a sociable character. Um, but what, one thing he has got is a, a, a resilience about him. Mentally, he's a tough boy. Um, so I'm sure this period of time sometimes can benefit younger players being off the pitch because they get a, they give a chance for their bodies to develop and we can really focus on some areas that maybe when he's playing game after game, you don't get a chance to develop, such as his physical development. Um, so I'm sure in the next few months, um, when he does eventually come back, we'll we'll see um, you know a, a fit and raring to go, Ryan Brewster. Yeah, hopefully that's the case. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Thanks. Um, Liverpool on the twenty threes play Derby on Sunday at one o'clock at Prenton Park. Get yourselves down there, or it's on LFC TV. Neil, thanks very Thank much you. for joining us. Yeah. I will be back on Monday for another episode of the Development Watch. See you then. <laughs>